Hi folks, this is Holy Fruit, and today I want to show you some of the traditional preserves the people of my area in the Balkan mountains used to make from fruits. I'm here in the historic village of Pozhenzite, that's why I could get quite a big selection of those traditional preserves. Those Balkan villages in the Balkan mountains, I don't just mean the Balkan peninsula, but exactly in the Balkan mountains, here we are smack in the center of the Balkan mountains and in the center of Bulgaria. And yeah, my mother is from that area, so I've been hearing for decades and sometimes even being able to try our traditional preserves. In this area, well, it's characterized by a lot of hills and mountains and forests and yeah, grains don't grow too well here. So what people used to do was they would use their fruits as a currency, as a bartering currency and go down to the to the lowland areas and exchange them for uh, for grains. The lowland areas uh, in, in many years they had harsh late frost so the uh, their fruit trees would not bear fruit, but they usually had a lot of wheat, barley and other grains. So yeah, people here would trade fresh fruit, usually plums, also dried plums. Every house back then used to have a small drying house next to it. Here it's called Sushilo. Well, I don't think here many of them have survived, but my grandfather had one until it burned down. Well. There they would dry the plums, but they would also make a lot of other recipes from the fruit. Preserves for the winter and also preserves for trading with other areas of Bulgaria and the Balkans. They used to make also a lot of interesting, interesting uh, juices and uh, slightly alcoholic drinks from those fruits. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to try them yet. Maybe I should try out some of those recipes myself. Here are some preserves they made for winter, for traveling, for trading. Well, those here on the left are made from plums. The one on the right is made from pears. In the middle is jam. Left and right are two things called pestil. What's pestil? It's a more, it's a more hard, tough, concentrated jam, basically something you could say it like, yeah, it's almost like fruit jerky, but from fruits which have been uh, boiled to a mush first. The marmalade, or the jam, as you can see here, it's also quite solid compared to modern gems. Well, back then, they did not have a lot of glass jars, so they wouldn't store jam in glass jars. They would store it in wooden boxes, and so it had to be a little bit more firm than modern jam is to not to run out of the wooden boxes. The pestil, the much more dry stuff, you could basically put it somewhere in a cupboard or wrap it in a towel or paper and you could even take it on trips and travels. And yeah, well they used to preserve also a lot of fresh apples for winter, usually they would uh, bury them in the garden or keep them in the basement. They would, well, plums and pears, you cannot preserve them in the in their uh, fresh state forever, so they would basically either simply split them into two and dry them, or make those preserves from them. Now let's try them, let's try with the jam. So this is plum jam, made from blue plums, which were traditionally the biggest crop here in the area. Smells of plums. Mmm, tastes of plums and smoke, mmm, yeah, I guess this was made with some wooden fire because, mmm, can taste the smoke well, could also be that it was burned, that it was made not in a big pot but in a, what is it, in, in a, white flat uh, pot or pan and that the plums that the plum uh, jam burned a little bit but it's also possible that it was made over a wooden fire now let's taste the uh, more concentrated pestil 
It's basically the same thing, but uh, yeah, it's been heated for much longer, so it dehydrated a lot more. <coughs> Mm -hmm. They're actually, they're actually big pieces of plum in this one. This was completely, mm, completely in a completely liquid state before they de uh, dehydrated it a little bit to, for being a gem. But here, they are big pieces of plums. Also, as you can see. This year leaves a stain on the on the plate. This year you can just stuff it in your bag or stuff it in a bun of bread and carry it around for for a whole day or, or even carry it around in your horse cart or ox cart for weeks when you go on a travel. Now let's try the plum, uh, the pear pestle. Until now everything was made of plums. Okay, the pear pestle is very tough. Let's see, looks a bit different. The color is not that black, more brownish. Mm -hmm. Definitely pear. A bit less sweet. No pieces inside. This was the only one which had pieces. This one was like um, those flies are really bothering. This was basically made for some liquid mush like this here and then dehydrated a lot. Very nice. I wish they would be more common um, shops in Bulgaria or elsewhere in the world. Nowadays you can also only find them at historic places like this where tourists buy them. Well, in all other shops we have just a normal western chocolate or other candy. <coughs> I think this here is just, <coughs> just as tasty and probably a thousand times more healthy. So folks, those were some of our traditional preserves, what people in my area used to make and sometimes still make from... Uh, fruits, since the fruits were the main crop of our area. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful historic Balkan area of Bulgaria. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.